When the sea began to rise, some islands panicked, but Trinidad adapted. A place where floods wash through villages one week and blazing heat scorches farms the next. Yet somehow, the people never give up. This is the story of how one Caribbean island is fighting climate change with 50 insane, brilliant, and deeply human innovations. From floating schools to underwater farms, this is Trinidad's war for survival, and it's nothing short of inspiring. Number 50. The Floating Villages of Caroni In the flood-prone plains of Caroni, communities are experimenting with floating bamboo homes that rise and fall with floodwaters. They're simple, strong, and save entire families from losing everything. Again, Number 49. Solar-Powered Fishing Boats Fishermen once relied on diesel. Now, sleek solar panel boats glide silently across the Gulf of Pariah, cutting costs, pollution, and dependence on fossil fuel. Number 48. The Bamboo Cooling Project In Port of Spain, innovators created bamboo ventilation walls that cool homes naturally, reducing heat by up to 10 degrees. It's nature's air conditioning, no power bill required. Number 47. Rainwater harvesting in every home. From schools to rural huts, thousands now use rooftop rain catchments to store water for drought months. Once a luxury, now a lifeline. Number 46. The Mangrove Guardians. Volunteers rebuild lost mangrove forests along the coast. Their roots act like natural seawalls, protecting against erosion and storm surge, while restoring lost wildlife. Number 45. Elevated Roads of Mayaro. Engineers raised entire roadways on stilts and stone foundations, keeping coastal routes open even during massive floods. The price tag was heavy, but so was the damage before. Number 44. Smart Flood Sensors Every rainy season used to bring chaos. Now, IoT flood sensors warn citizens instantly when water levels rise, giving precious minutes to move cars, families, and animals to safety. Number 43. Seaweed-based construction bricks From the beaches once choked by sargassum blooms, a miracle. Engineers now mix dried seaweed into eco-bricks, stronger and lighter than concrete. Number 42. Vertical Farms in the City when farmland dried up, food didn't stop growing. Trinidadians began growing crops in stacked hydroponic towers, right in the middle of Port of Spain. Number 41. The Recycled Plastic Roads Trinidad now paves highways using recycled plastic waste, turning trash into durable, heat-resistant roads, a global model in the making. Number 40. Stormproof School Shelters Schools double as emergency shelters, equipped with solar power, food reserves, and reinforced roofs, designed to survive Category 5 hurricanes. Number 39. Drone Crop Monitoring Farmers use AI drones to scan farmlands, detecting drought stress early, preventing entire harvest losses in a single flight. Number 38. Desalination New Small-scale solar desalination pods turn seawater into drinking water in coastal villages, providing survival water when pipes run dry. Number 37. The Turtle Safe Beach Lights Along the nesting beaches, eco lights dim automatically to protect endangered leatherback turtles, balancing nature and nightlife beautifully. Number 36. Ocean Floor Coral Restoration Divers plant heat-resistant coral species off Tobago's coast, rebuilding reefs that protect the shoreline from storm waves. Number 35. Tree Planting Drones Trinidad's reforestation mission uses seed-dropping drones that plant 10,000 trees in a single day greening the island from above. Number 34. Floating Solar Farms Massive floating solar panels now power parts of the water treatment system, literally floating power stations harnessing sun and sea. Number 33. Urban Rooftop Gardens City rooftops are now green havens, producing food, cooling the city, and reducing flood runoff during heavy rain. Number 32. Heat-resistant road materials The asphalt melts no more. Engineers invented a heat proof mix for tropical temperatures that once destroyed highways each summer. Number 31. Coral Sand Coastal Barriers Using crushed coral and biosand, engineers created natural storm barriers that look like beaches but act like fortresses. Number 30. The Climate Education Movement Across Trinidad, 
Schools are transforming classrooms into climate labs. Children learn not just theory, but real survival skills. How to build solar-powered devices, harvest rainwater, and grow food sustainably. The goal? A generation of innovators who see climate change not as doom, but as a challenge to outsmart. Number 29. Floating Agriculture Platforms Instead of surrendering to floods, farmers now grow food on floating gardens, rafts layered with soil and crops that rise and fall with the water. This ancient idea, reborn with modern science, keeps food production alive even during extreme weather. Number 28. The Cool Roof Project Thousands of homes in Trinidad are now coated with solar reflective white paint. These cool roofs bounce heat back into the sky, lowering indoor temperatures by several degrees. It's a simple, low-cost idea that's saving families money and cutting emissions from air conditioners. Number 27. Climate Insurance for Farmers when floods or droughts hit, farmers no longer face ruin. Through climate insurance programs, they receive emergency payments within 48 hours, ensuring that food production continues and families stay afloat even after nature's worst surprises. Number 26. Microgrids for remote villages In storm-prone rural areas, independent solar microgrids now keep the lights on when the national grid fails. These self-sustaining systems power schools, clinics, and communication lines, making remote communities stronger than ever before. Number 325. Rewilding Abandoned Sugar Lands The ghost fields of old sugar cane plantations are returning to life. Wetlands and forests now grow where monocrops once stood, absorbing carbon dioxide, cleaning water, and restoring lost habitats for birds and native species. It's a full-circle story of regeneration. Number 24. Biogas Kitchens In rural households, kitchen stoves now run on biogas made from everyday food scraps. It's renewable, smokeless, and turns waste into power, cutting methane emissions and saving families from buying expensive LPG. Number 23. Climate-proof hospitals Hospitals across Trinidad are being redesigned to survive storms. Backup solar panels, flood-proof basements, and water storage systems ensure medical care continues uninterrupted even when hurricanes strike. Number 22. Cooling bus stops to protect people from scorching heat, bus stops in Port of Spain and beyond are now solar-shaded and mist-cooled. They're not just shelters, they're micro-oases that provide comfort, water, and phone charging during extreme heat days. Number 21. Floating Classrooms When schools flood, learning floats. Floating classrooms, powered by solar panels, travel to affected areas so children never lose access to education. They've become symbols of resilience, education that moves with the tide. Number 20. Smart Water Meters In a warming world, every drop matters. New digital water meters help families track their daily usage, detect leaks instantly, and reduce waste. An essential step as dry seasons grow longer and rainfall becomes unpredictable. Number 19. The Trinidad Solar Highway A ribbon of solar panels now runs alongside one of the island's busiest highways, producing clean electricity as vehicles pass. This project turns everyday travel into energy generation, a visible sign of Trinidad's renewable future. Number 18. Wind Turbines on the Coastline Graceful white wind turbines now turn along the eastern coast, generating sustainable electricity for thousands of homes. Each rotation replaces fossil fuel use, proving that even a small island can harness the power of the breeze. Number 17. Fire-resistant forest zones To combat wildfires, forest managers have planted moisture-rich, green firebreaks, belts of plants that slow or stop flames before they spread. These living barriers protect wildlife, farmlands, and entire villages from climate-fueled fires. Number and 16. Floating Hospitals When floods isolate communities, mobile medical boats sail in with doctors, vaccines, and emergency care. These floating hospitals turn rivers into lifelines, ensuring that no one is left untreated, no matter how high the waters rise. Number 15. Eco-Friendly Carnival Costumes Trinidad's world-famous carnival now dazzles with a green twist. Biodegradable glitter, recycled fabrics, and locally sourced materials. Designers are proving that you can celebrate culture and protect the planet at the same time. Number 14. Climate-Ready Housing Codes 
New building codes require stronger roofs, raised foundations, and rainwater capture systems. Every new home built under these standards is a fortress of sustainability, ready to face both storms and droughts. Number 13. The Solar-Powered Airport Wing Piarco International Airport's new terminal extension runs on solar energy. It's not just about cleaner flights. It's about transforming the Caribbean's main travel hub into a model of sustainable design and energy efficiency. Number 12. Smart City Lighting Street lights across major towns now use motion sensors to dim when no one's around. This simple smart tech shift has reduced energy use by nearly 40%, saving cities money and cutting nighttime emissions dramatically. Number 11. Flood-resistant crop varieties. Local scientists have developed new flood-tolerant strains of rice and cassava. Even after weeks of water logging, these crops survive, keeping food supplies stable and secure for Trinidad's families. Number 10. Community climate radios. When storms knock out power and cell service, hand-cranked radios become lifelines. Local climate radio stations broadcast updates, evacuation alerts, and comfort in chaos, keeping isolated villages connected when the world goes dark. Number 9. Digital Mangrove Mapping Drones now glide over Trinidad's coastlines, capturing detailed maps of mangrove forests, the island's first defense against erosion and rising seas. These living maps track growth, health, and loss in real time, guiding conservationists to protect every vital root. Number 8. Floating Solar Desalination Plants Massive floating platforms now turn seawater into drinking water using only sunlight. During droughts, these ocean-based desal plants provide fresh water to coastal towns once left desperate, blending innovation with survival in the face of salt and sun. Number 7. Underwater Sculpture Parks Where coral reefs once died, Art now brings life. Underwater sculpture parks, carved from coral-safe materials, attract fish, rebuild marine ecosystems, and draw divers from around the world. Tourism fuels conservation, beauty healing nature, one sculpture at a time. Number 6. Recycled Clothing Projects Trinidad's youth are redefining fashion with purpose. Old clothes are reborn as eco-fabric art, upcycled streetwear, and sustainable designs that tell a story, proof that creativity can turn waste into wearable hope. Number 5. The Climate Refugee Center Built safely inland, this center offers shelter, food, and emotional support to families displaced by coastal flooding. It's not just a building, it's a promise that no one will be left behind when the tides rise a place of dignity in a time of loss. Number 4. Artificial reefs made of steel. Decommissioned ships are being lowered into the ocean, where they transform into vibrant artificial reefs. These steel giants calm storm waves before they hit shore and create thriving underwater habitats, turning wreckage into resilience. Number 3. Island-wide reforestation pledge. By 2030, Trinidad has vowed to plant 5 million new trees, a massive effort to restore lost forests, capture carbon, and protect wildlife. Every seed planted is a silent declaration. We will grow back stronger. Number 2. The National Climate Command Center Deep in Port of Spain, a 24-7 command center monitors storms, rainfall, and sea levels across the island. Satellites feed data to a team that coordinates evacuations, sends real-time alerts, and manages disaster recovery. The beating brain of Trinidad's resilience. Number 1. The spirit of the people. No technology can match this. Through every flood, drought, and hurricane, the true strength of Trinidad is its people, neighbors helping neighbors, farmers rebuilding fields, teachers reopening schools on floating platforms. This is not just adaptation, it's courage in motion. Trinidad faces the rising tide, but it refuses to sink. If this story inspired you, share it. Because what's happening in Trinidad today is what the world will face tomorrow. Adaptation isn't just science, it's survival. And no one proves that better than the people of Trinidad.